Oh, Jesus. Did you see that speed? Hello and welcome back to Bug Realms. On this channel we like to discuss all things creepy crawly. So if that's something that interests you, please consider subscribing to the channel. So right now we are on the very, very last video, guys. The last of the Huntsman series. Not last video altogether, don't panic. <laughs> and this is featuring a Heteropoda Boei, Boei, I'm not quite sure. It's the Lycan Huntsman. Now I think I've got a female in here, but I know a few people that can confirm it after this video comes out. So I will correct you and update you in the future if I'm wrong. Now this is the largest of the species that are featured within today. And this one is actually going to live in what we had for our viewing area. I just need to make some finishing touches in here and make it nice for our Lycan Huntsman. But yes, this tank is no longer a viewing area. We will go back to using Camorabi. We haven't used Camorabi if you didn't know because these Huntsmen are far too fast and Camorabi is far too big and I could lose them so easily. So the final one guys, the final one, the final one of the seven in this series and eighth species I actually currently own, including the Venatoria that I had from Bugs UK a while back. The female is still going, the male unfortunately passed. So let's check out this beast of a spider. So here it is in this pot, the H Boei, or Bowie, the Lycan Huntsman, the biggest of the seven that we got. Do, 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 do. There we go, how much nicer is that? So yeah, we have some fake foliage in the corner so it can hide there. We've got lichen branches with real lichen moss on. We have a mossy floor and we have some leaves. Now there's also um, some of my culture of tropical grey wood lice in here and one of the crickets that jumped out the box is at the back. We'll leave him in there because this is a fully grown spider and I'm pretty sure it will take down that cricket no problem at all. So we do have a bit of a bow top because this was a pre-owned enclosure that I had to silicone the top to to hold it in place. Just check that there's no gaps <laughs> that are formed while doing this. Nope. So yes, it's time we released the beast, as it were. So I will be cautious here. There's the top off. There is the spider. Look at the size of it. A lichen huntsman potentially female. I think the males are a bit more colourful but I'm, I'm not entirely sure. I find it very difficult to study the palps of these. Let me try and get some better lighting on it. The lighting in these videos has not been as I wanted them but uh, hopefully you can see well enough. Right. Okay. Yeah, I'm doing it the uh, Scaredy cat way yet again. Where is my straw? Straw, straw, straw. Look at the mess I've made here. All the realm is ruined just from today. You wouldn't believe this was all tidied before I started filming these, would you? Well, there's me tongs. Oh, I forgot the really mossy branch. Mm, no, it's fine. It's fine. That mossy branch can go on Kamorabi. Right. Turn additional light off. I am just I am so tired this being the final one of the Huntsman series I can't find me straw right cut camera find straw focus found straw on the floor okay so let's swap hands might make the uh, camera noise a little bit crackly holding it in my left because of the way I have to hold it are you ready whoa Oh, Jesus, did you see that speed? Let's try and zoom in. No, that zoom out, Sam. It's not going to focus properly, but you can you can make out the movement still. Yes. So now we simply remove the pot, and then we can check out the beast. Look at it down there. Those strands. 
long strands that's legs guys that is legs oh my god he's moving when I'm moving the pot just use your hands get the pot out now his span is from here and I don't even know where it finishes let's close the doors psych around the side whoa, whoa stuffing away oh goodness me dirty size to these tanks though unfortunately but there's the span and there we have it filming from the back it's still a little murky but it's not as bad a lichen huntsman let me get some more light on here with the additional light we'll try side first there you go you'll be able to see why it's named that for the colorations it has that sort of well lichen coloration obviously now maybe if i move it this way look at that powerful looking spider isn't it huge huge leg span massive species wow that's got to be a leg span of at least seven inches sat there right now guys no word of a lie so cool look at it it knows it's the boss and that's what i like now shall we see if lucky locust is alive if lucky locust is alive he's going in taken from the home from our, from our species black is lucky locust one and the same so i'm just gonna chuck him in oh, i'm terrible with my left hand i know i could ju just put this on a tripod but you know what i don't want to i cannot grip lucky locust there we go ah oh, now he's gone under the moss Lucky Locust strikes again. Right, there's the Locust. The spider shouldn't be that far. There's the spider's legs, there's Lucky Locust. Oh, goodness me. Not even a flinch. Lucky Locust, this is your lucky day now although this video is the one i'm technically calling the last i've actually filmed this one before i've done uh, the purple huntsman so if lucky locust died in the previous video that's because this one was filmed first if he didn't die in the previous video then he is a born survivor and uh, maybe we should feature him in a special video of his own you guys comment me below if lucky locust did survive the species purple in the previous video shall we do a video all about lucky locust maybe get him a call home or something till the end of his days but anyway you were here to see the spider weren't you i'm sorry there's not going to be much footage i will try and get bonus footage of this spider at the end uh, i hope you enjoyed this video this series has been tough to try and film in one afternoon especially as i couldn't start proper filming aside from the David Bowie, until it was dark outside. So if you want to see what else dwells in the realm, make sure to pop back weekly for multiple videos. I'm now going to get on to filming the video that you would have seen previous to this one. You know, I've explained it. <laughs> Take care, guys. Bye-bye. So on our few days later update, it's only going to be a short one, guys. Here is the Lycan Huntsman sat right on the door. There's a hand comparison. It is a big one guys it really is a big spider i'm not going to open the doors with the spider on there because i'm not insane and i will lose it. it's right next to the new kimura bee i really don't want to lose this huntsman so it resides quite a lot in the day behind the foliage there and at night time it tends to come towards the front so that's about the best image you'll get i'll try and take a view through the side of the glass over here for you now and that's going to be it for a update after a few days, I'm afraid. Oh yes, I forgot. This is the tank with the horrible glass, so you won't see anything. But check this out. A few days later... Where are you? I know you're there. Who is it? It's Lucky Locust, ladies and gentlemen. I left him in there for a few days. And he's still alive. 
He is still alive, so Lucky Locust has made it. Now, I'm going to leave it till tomorrow in my time. If Lucky Locust is still going by tomorrow in my time, I'll do that Lucky Locust video if you guys wanted me to. But you have to comment me below if you want to see that one or private message me. So, yes, we're not going to get any better footage, I'm afraid, of our huntsman than what you can see here. So, yes. Take care everyone, bye bye from me. So that's it for today's video. Now this outro is actually gonna be the same on every single Huntsman video in this seven part series. Why? One terrible reason is because I'm outright lazy, <laughs> but the main reason is actually because I keep on forgetting to show my patrons love at the end of my video, something I've been meaning to do for ages. And when I'm recording, it just slips my mind. So if I use the same outro, then every time I'm doing the editing process for these videos, it should drill in my mind that from after this set of videos, I make sure to put the names on the screen. Now, my patrons are a part of a private Facebook group and as a collective, they decided to name themselves and they have chosen to be called the Disciples of the Realm. So if you would like to become a Disciple of the Realm and have your name pop up on the screen like these guys will in a moment, please go into my link in the description below for Patreon. Check out the tiers, check out the rewards you'll get. If you want to further support my channel, all the money goes into the animals, the maintenance of the animals and bettering my equipment. It doesn't go on anything other than the animals and YouTube itself. There are perks and you get to have a lot of inside information about me as well. So here on the screen right now are the lists of my Patreons and alternative supporters. Now alternative supporters pay me differently, but they do so still on a monthly basis. So if you do not like the, to use Patreon, contact me privately and we can arrange a different method for you that suits you to the ground. So that was it, that's the end of this outro. Thanks for watching guys. And please, Sam, remember, <laughs> show your Patreons love in every video. <laughs> Take care guys, see you in the next one. Bye-bye.